Hey, I'm Leah D'Amelio with Mahalo Daily, and today we're at the USS Midway in San Diego, California to learn about the National Call to Service. Let's head inside and check it out. You make me feel so young. You make me feel as though spring has sprung. And every time I see you grin, I'm such a happy I'm very delighted that I received a letter from Lieutenant Governor John Garamendi. He says, I'm delighted to extend a warm welcome to all who are gathered aboard the historic USS Midway to answer President-elect Obama's call to service to renew America together. And it's time to, to take the responsibility because you're the next generation. You're inheriting this country. This is your country. And this is what you're going to have when you grow up. So please, think about what you want to do and go for it. This is the time for all people to come to the aid of the country. Tell me a little bit more about this uh, West Coast Rally National Call to Service. Of course, we have President-elect Obama going into office tomorrow. President-elect went out today into the streets of Washington, D.C. Uh, to do some service, uh, not as a president, but as a citizen, and try to s project to the people of America uh, that we all are going to have to pitch in as, as citizens, regardless of our, uh, what our job is or our day job. And so California is on the far end, if you will, of, the, um, of America. We thought we'd, before he's inaugurated, send him a message that in the largest populated state in the country, that people do care about these values. And that as he, he assumes this job, that he is not alone. And many, many Californians, all Californians, want him to succeed. All right, so here to tell us a little bit about this Stories of Service project are Katie and Emily, who are both eighth graders. And first, Katie, tell me a little bit about how you found out about this project. Well, our teacher gave us a project of we're supposed to do documentaries about veterans, and we chose the Stories of Service. I had to keep a project where you'd get the youngest and the eldest together. The kids brought technology, the elders brought the stories, the rest is history, and that was Stories of Service. What did you like about doing a documentary on service, the fact that we get to learn about our um, country's history, really influenced us to want to do this project? Tell me a little bit about your background and what it means to you to be here today. Uh, well, I was in the Marine Corps for 12 years. I served from 1990 until uh, 2002. Um, Went in at 17, and uh, the Marine Corps is all I knew. I was injured in a, an accident at Camp Pendleton, um, and uh, I decided to get out and somehow keep my ties to the military, so I got involved with the Cal Diego Paralyzed Veterans Association. We, we flew in Europe. We um, got shot out of the air and parachuted out. We were in uh, POW camps in Poland and in Germany. I was a lieutenant in the service and flew a P-47 and uh, managed to get shot down on my 66th mission, but now I'm a member of the San Diego POW group and we're building a big statue in the new Miramar Fort Rosecrans Cemetery. So we're uh, giving people an opportunity to participate in making this uh, thing possible. The statue will be 15 feet tall. It will display a POW at that moment of liberation when he's most excited to re finally realize he's free. President-elect Barack Obama has made a national call to service for 2009 that uh, Americans come together in any way that they can and, and help uh, build community and help people uh, right in their own hometowns. And uh, if you're wondering what you can do, there are plenty of organizations and here at the USS Midway today, um, we're meeting lots of people. Um, tell me a little bit, little bit about the organizations that you've co-founded with your husband. Sure, we have two organizations. The first one is called HirePatriots.com. And with that organization, we have a website, HIREpatriots.com. And right now, we um, are helping about 700 active duty families and veterans find one day jobs on our site. If you are near a military base and you have a one day job, where let's say you need to help someone move or you need to have your backyard cleaned out or you're getting a little bit older and you need to have housekeeping done, you can just pick up the phone or you can go on our website and you can post a one-day job within about five minutes. An active duty, um, here in San Diego, it would be an active duty marine or sailor would pick up the phone and give you a call and they'll come over and do some work for you and it's just a way for them and their families to make a little extra money. And I'm talking with Colin now of Archie's 
Acres. It's uh, organic farming. And tell me a little bit about the company. We're organic farmers. We grow avocados, herbs, and tomatoes. And uh, what our goal is, is to work with veterans and give them opportunities for re-employment. Re Basically what we're doing is we work with the Veterans Administration to get veterans out to our farm and we put them through a training course that they're paid for and we also open them up to other environment or other uh, job opportunities in the agriculture industry. Where can they find you? You can find us at www.archiesacres.com. That's A-R-C-H-I-S-A-C-R-E-S.com. What do you think is the most imp important reason why people should get involved as volunteers? Volunteering is uh, important in a therapeutic manner. I mean, I use the analogy, I don't know if people know what I Love Lucy is, but like sitting at home watching I Love Lucy reruns really uh, is probably somewhat boring after, you know, a week or two. And so sitting on the couch, not doing anything, becoming sedentary physically is degenerating and also uh, mentally. So volunteering gives you an opportunity to go out, network and establish new connections in the community and eventually those may lead to bigger and better things for the veterans or even civilians. Well, we've heard a lot of great stories here today and it seems like a lot of people are excited to get involved with their communities with the new year and new administration. Are you planning on getting involved? If so, leave us a comment and let us know how you will serve your community. From Mahalo Daily, I'm Leah D'Amelio. We'll see you next time.